Question number seven. We are given a circle. It's not a circle. It's a major sector. A, B, C with the center O. And uh, we need to, the radius is six centimeter and AD is five centimeter and the little angle is 0 0.7 radians. Our part A is we need to find the sector of Find the area of the sector A, B, C, O, A. So, uh, and we need to write our answer in one decimal place. And the part A got three marks. So, we need to find the area of A, B, C, O, A. This major sector. So, we know in radians, the area of a sector is half R square theta. Theta is the angle in radians. But here, we don't know this angle. If you want to find the area of the major sector, you need to know this angle. This angle. We don't know. But all we know is in radians, the angle around a point or uh, the angle at the, at the center of the circle is 2 pi radians. So you can uh, 2 pi minus this 0.7, you will get this angle. So this angle will be 2 pi minus 0 0.7 radians. So uh, you will get the angle and substitute here. Our radius is 6 centimeter. So the area equals half into R square, which is 6 square into our theta is 2 pi minus 0 0.7 so that's the area use your calculator and check what's the answer here but make sure your calculator is in radian mode because we are dealing with radians here so if you keep the calculator in degree degree mode everything will be wrong actually so you can toggle between degree and radian mode so keep the calculator in radian mode and simplify this uh, evaluate this you will get so you get 100.49 so we can round the because you want they want the answer area in one decimal place so when you round the figure to one decimal place it will be 100.5 centimeter square so this is the area of this is the area of the major sector so our part a got three marks write the formula substitute everything there you find this. The tricky part here is the angle is not given, so you need to know that the whole angle is 2 pi. So the area of the major sector is, the angle of the major sector is 2 pi minus this little angle. So 2 pi minus 0 0.7 radian, so you got the area already. In part B, they want you to find the angle ADO, but given the it's a obtuse angle. So you see, you cannot just omit this word obtuse because when you find the angle, you may get an acute angle. So, but when they say obtuse, you need to take the angle pi minus whatever your acute angle is. So that's the reason your obtuse is given and you need to write the answer in three decimal place. All these things are very important when you solve. That's why I always say you need to read the question word by word very carefully. So if we are going to find the angle ADO and it's an obtuse angle, we need to write the angle in three decimal place and this got three marks. So let's consider this triangle ADO, this triangle ADO, O here, A and D. And this is six centimeter, this is five. This angle is 0.7 radian. We need to find this. So two angles and two opposite sides, we know for sure that we can use sign rule. And again, you can use sign rule in radian mode also, but only thing, keep the calculator in radian and just apply the sign rule. So the sign rule is, let's say this angle is, let's say, keep it as X or theta. So our sign rule is sine theta divided by the opposite side 6 equals sine 0 0.7 radian by 5. So when you rearrange this, your sine theta is, the 6 comes here, 6 times sine 0 0.7 divided by 5. 
And again, theta, that's not our answer. We need to find the theta. Theta is sine inverse of, theta is sine inverse of whatever the value here. That is 6 into sine 0 0.7 divided by 5. Again, use the calculator and find this theta. Write the answer in three decimal place. So when we key in this, So our answer is 0 0.8836 something. So they want the answer in three decimal place. So you can write it as 0 0.0.884. Because your answer is 0 0.8836. So when you round it to three decimal place, it's 0 0.884. This is the answer, but again, is this an acute angle or obtuse angle? Because they say the angle is supposed to be obtuse. But this angle is less than pi by 2, less than 90 degree. Or in radian, it's less than pi upon 2. Because pi upon 2 is like 1.7 something. So it's lesser than pi by 2, which is an acute angle. This angle is an acute angle, not an obtuse angle. So we cannot take this as our answer. We need to minus this value from 180, that is our angle. So theta is our pi minus 0 0.884, that's the answer. So when, when we find pi minus, pi minus 0 0.884, our answer is 2.2575, which is 2.258, 2.258 radian, 2.258 radian, that's the obtuse angle here. Because in sine rule, we learn when we find the angle, so let's say if this triangle, uh, when they say this length of AD is 5 centimeter, there is another possibility also that it can be here, 5 centimeter. So the angle can be the acute angle, acute angle or the obtuse angle. So when they say obtuse, if this, if they say acute angle, just use this result. When they say obtuse angle, you take this angle because it's acute angle and minus it from 180. So that's our answer, 2.258 radians, that's the ADO. So we got the obtuse angle in three decimal place, so we, we have scored three marks already. Our part C, they want you to find this perimeter of the shape A, B, C, D, A, this perimeter. That means you need to know the length of arc and this length which is 5 centimeter and C, D. CD, we don't know the length uh, DC or CD, but we know the whole radius is 6 cm because if this is 6, this also a radius 6. So if you know this little uh, measurement, you can minus 6 minus this measurement, you get CD already. So you need to find this using the sine rule within this triangle. We know this angle, ADO, in part B, we got this angle, which is 2.258. So first, okay, let's find the length of the arc. The length of the arc is, the formula is r theta. The formula is just r theta. r is radius is 6 and theta is 2 pi minus 0 0.7. So 6 into 2 pi minus 0 0.7. That's the length of arc. So when we uh, find the 6 into 2 pi minus 0 0.7 is uh, 33.4999 but they want the answer in 1 dp so we keep it in 1 dp we keep the value in 1 dp 33.5 centimeter that's the length of arc now we need to find okay we know ad now we need to find cd but we need this little length OD here. So when we take this triangle, when we take this triangle, O here, A here, this is six centimeter, this is five, and this is D. 
and this little angle here is 0.7 this angle is in part b we derive already it's 2.258 in a triangle all three angles add up to 180 degree in radian it's pi so when you find this angle pi minus this minus this so it will be pi minus 0 0.7 minus 2.258 we got 0.1835 something so when we round it we take it as 0.184 ready so we got all three angles so you can find this using the sine rule so when we use uh, maybe these two we need to find this OD. So OD upon sine 0 0.184 equals 5 upon this angle sine 0 0.7. So OD equals 5 times sine 0 0.184. Sine 0 0.184 bring it to the other side divided by sine 0 0.7 that's our OD. So it will be so the answer is 1.42 but again we write the answer in one decimal place because they are interested in one decimal place only. OD is 1.4 centimeter 1.4 centimeter but when you want to find the perimeter of this shape we know the length of arc and we know this length and this boundary line we need. We need. We know the whole radius is 6 cm. And the little uh, measurement is 1.4. So our CD is. Our CD is this whole length. Which is 6 minus 1.4. Which is 4.6 cm. So we got length of our. 5 cm and 4.6 this is 4.6 now so you can add all the boundaries to get the perimeter so perimeter is perimeter equals our length of arc is 33.5 plus this measurement which is 5 plus this little length 4.6 so you, we add everything, it's 33, use calculator again, 33, 38, 42, 38, 42, 43.1, 43.1 And we have uh, produced a result in one decimal place. So we can score four marks already. Again, I repeat, they want you to find the perimeter of this whole shape. When you want to find the perimeter, find the arc length using this angle 2 pi minus 0 0.7. The, uh, the formula to find the length of arc is r theta. But the theta is supposed to be in ready. So we got 33 point something around it to one decimal place is 33.5. And we know this length 5, we need to find this length. So in order to find this, we, we need to find out this little measurement OD. So how do we find OD? Take this rectangle, take this uh, the triangle and we need to find this OD by applying the sine rule. So when you apply the sine rule, you got OD. So you know AD and uh, this whole length is 6. So 6 minus OD is, is our CD. Add them up together, you got 43.1. That's our perimeter of this shape.